When going to see a musical, or when performing a musical, or even writing a musical, the first few minutes are the most important out of the whole show. Well, almost the whole show. There's some other pretty important moments, but this video is not about those moments. This is about the dank ass openings that the musicals can give. When someone goes to see a musical, the first few moments during the overture are so important to the viewing experience because it is what draws in the crowd to the show. The overture is what combines all the dank ass music numbers that you will remember from the show together into one awesome two minute soundgasm. Sometimes a show doesn't even need an overture. All you have to do is turn them lights down low and crank up a and you know you're in for a good time. If you're interested in writing a musical or composing a musical, I think there are about three aspects you need to keep in mind when trying to immerse your audience in right in those first few minutes. And the great thing about these three aspects is that they can work on their own, but they can also work together. Anyway, let's start with the first most common aspect. So back in the day, before liking musicals was cool, the overture would consist of a medley of the songs you're about to hear during the show. That way when a, that certain song is played again, the audience already has an idea of what it sounds like and knows that this song is going to be important to the overall plot. And while that method is still used today, there, there's been some changes to it and that's what I'm going to go into. Meaning, of course, my first point has two sub-points. Um, those two sub-points are the classic and the in-your-face. Classic was the typical style that I just talked about, where it's like, it comes in, it's the medley of the different songs, you're just you're listening to it, you're just like, oh, okay, those are the songs to watch out for. Although, in my personal opinion, I feel like that never really captured the attention of the audience the way the in-your-face can. Yeah, no, I agree. The um, YouTube Rewind this year is really odd, right? I, no, it's just the overture. We can continue our conversation. So, um, Will Smith. I think for the overture to really capture the intention of the audience, um, you gotta use that in-your-face moment. That's my second point, is the in-your-face. You can keep that medley style of overture and just have a little, 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 little sp sprinkle on your, your, your different songs that you want the audience to watch out for. But you also got to keep in mind that it needs to really draw them in. That first few minutes is so important. Yeah, right. And Ninja's not even a YouTuber. He's a Twitch streamer. His views just happen to be put on... But while Andrew Lloyd Webber immerses you into the show, a fan of the opera with his overture, that fucking just in your face, possibly make you shit your pants overture, it's not the only style that you can use to immerse your audience. And that's what I want to talk about in my second point. Nostalgia. Not a lot of musicals can capture nostalgia. For it to be able to capture nostalgia, it has to come from something. Be something that already exists. Take a musical like The Addams Family. Everyone knows the classic Addams Family theme song with the, with the snapping and all that. But when Andrew Lipa wrote the musical, he took that original theme and made it his own. You could hear the classic theme song, but I want you to listen to it when he took his own creative techniques to it. Adding that in-your-face touch. musicals do use that nostalgia method but that's during like the whole show we're talking about those dank ass overtures am I right so let's move on to my third point terror now we can relate terror back to my point about fan of the opera I'm sure if you were to go to that show and not oh hello I'm sure if you were to go see that show not knowing what to expect the sudden organ would make a lot of dads jump out of their cargo shorts, which you should not wear to a Broadway show for multiple reasons. 
But when I think of an overture that really strikes terror in the audience, I think of Stephen Sondheim's Sweeney Todd. The overture to Sweeney Todd has this really relaxing organ. You know, you just you listen to it, you're just like, ooh, that's soft, that's nice, that's I can just sit back in my seat, I'm in for a good time, this is gonna be a good show. But that's how they get you. Sondheim hates you. He decided that's not good enough. He fucking threw in this big old screech with a fucking, I'm assuming cello or something, big old screech to just shatter your eardrums. Now, I'm not Sondheim, I like you guys. I won't throw that in. If you want to hear it, go hear it yourself. Psych! <laughs> This, a fourth option, Jared, you said that you only had three methods. Yeah, I know, that's called lying. There is a fourth option, and that's to not feature an overture at all. You could start a musical just as powerful without the use of an overture. But Jared, isn't the overture what starts a musical? How about you just stop interrupting me and let me <laughs> finish talking? Jeez. Now Google defines an overture as an orchestral piece at the beginning of an opera play, musical, etc. Now that's pretty true. In my opinion, the overture has to be the section of music at the beginning of a show that prepares the audience for the show's entirety, not for the song they're about to hear. Let me give an example. Take a show like Hamilton. Hamilton has about three seconds of music before anyone comes in and sings, but that three seconds is related to the song, not the overall show. But take a show like Assassin's. Assassin's has 40 seconds of music before anyone starts singing. But that 40 seconds isn't used to build up the song. It's used to build up the show. A show about killing US presidents. They use Hail to the Chief as their overture. That's brilliant. And so what's my point with this video? It's that those first few minutes of a musical are the most important minutes of the whole show. And if you mess that up, your whole show is going to be a mess. And no one wants that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey pal, feeling blue. Don't know what to do. Hey pal, I mean you. Yeah. Come here and kill a president. No job covered there.